Burned memories lay next to what was the Northgate Apartments on Fay Drive. Sunday night, the apartment building went up in flames, and with it, the memories of those who lived there. We, whenever we ran outside, the there was the whole left side of the building, the was, already building was already on fire, and everybody was still stuck in there, and uh, people started jumping. And Austin Davis and Rhiannon Rivero were two of 31 people running for safety. The young couple had just moved into their first apartment together in February. They were asleep when they heard a knock at their door. The family across the street, them and their children were outside playing and started banging on as many doors as they could and said, fire, get out. And even their smallest kids were leading little elderly people across the street. Members of the Cordero family had just come home from a birthday celebration when they saw the fire. Roman Cordero, along with his kids, ran to warn their neighbors. They're burning down over there. Had no one, everybody just sat in their place. I think a lot more people would have uh, not been alive today. Their swift actions saved dozens of lives, but tragically, there were three people who didn't survive. Marshall Burns, Christopher Rowe, and Lucretia Vinay died in the fire. Vinay's family now demands justice. Our family is forever changed. Our lives are forever changed. But we, I'll make sure that I plan to make sure justice is taken for my sister for sure. For now, Vinay's family can hold on to the memories and photos they have of her. And those who survived, like Austin and Rhiannon, are left searching for a new place to call home. In Lacey Lakeview, Grant Johnson, 6 News.